subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in ServiceNow Certified Application Developer. So let's get started. Question number 1, which of the following statements is true for the form designer? A. To add a field to the form layout, drag the field from the fields tab to the desired destination on the form. B. To create a new field on a forms table, drag the appropriate data type from the field types tab to the form and then configure the new field. C. To remove a field from the form layout, hover over the field to enable the action buttons, and select the delete, X, button. D. To add a section to the form layout, drag it from the field types tab to the desired destination on the form. Your options are Option A. A, B, C, and D. Option B. B, C, and D. Option C. A, B, and D. Option D. A, B, and C. The correct answer is, Option D. Question number 2. Which of the following are configured in an email notification? A. Who will receive the notification? B. What content will be in the notification? C. When to send the notification? D. How to send the notification? Your options are Option A. A, B and C. Option B. A, B, and D. Option C. B, C and D. Option D. A, C and D. The correct answer is, Option A. Question number 3, to see what scripts, reports, and other application artifacts will be in a published application. Your options are A. Enter the name of the application in the global search field. B. Open the list of update sets for the instance. C. Examine the application files related list in the app to be published. D. Open the artifact records individually to verify the value in the application field. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 4, which one of the following is not a debugging strategy for client-side scripts? Your options are The correct answer is, option D. Question number 5, which application access configuration field are not available, if the can read configuration field is not selected? Your options are a. All access to this table via web services. B. Can create, can update, and can delete. C. Can read does not affect the availability of other application access fields. D. Allow configuration. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 6, which of the following is not a trigger type in Flow Designer? Your options are. A. Outbound email. B. Application. C. Record. D. Schedule. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 7. When creating new application files in a scoped application, cross-scope access is turned on by default in which of the following? Your options are. A. Rest messages. B. Table. C. Script include. D. Workflow. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 8, in an email notification, which one of the following is not true for the wait field? Your options are. A. Only notifications with the highest wait for the same record and recipients are sent. B. A wait value of 0 means that no email should be sent. C. The wait value defaults to 0. D. A wait value of 0 means the notification is always sent when the notifications when to send criteria is met. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 9, which of the following objects does a display business rule not have access to? Your options are, A. Previous, B. Glad system, C. G. Scratchpad, D. Current. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 10. Which of the following features are available to global applications? Choose 2. Your options are. A. Automated test framework. 
B. Source Control. C. Delegated Development. D. Flow Designer. The correct answers are, Option C, and D. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.